What started as a routine bill signing for Governor Quinn today exploded into debate over the Tea Party here in Illinois. Check it out. Senator Wilhelmy, why are you afraid of Cedric Crenshaw, a black Republican conservative? Uh, you know, I, I, I be, why are you afraid of her? I'd be happy to talk to you about that. Governor Quinn, conference. why are you trying to take her off the ballot? All right, that was the confrontation. The target of that woman's outrage is State Senator A.J. Wilhelmy. He is the Democrat running Thank for re-election in the 43rd the, uh, the Senate District in, in DuPage and Will Counties. He's also running unopposed because election law judges kicked Governor his Republican Ford. competitor off the, the ballot. Later, Cedric Crenshaw's supporter was led out of that room. Fox Chicago political editor Mike Finery is here with what that is all about. How'd she get kicked off? Well, she was uh, she was taken out for disrupting the meeting. It's yeah. a this is a story, Anna, about a Tea Party activist who uh, says she's being treated unfairly by Illinois' Byzantine election laws. When Republican leaders appointed her as their candidate, she actually skipped the primary. Nobody filed in the primary. Democrats won a preliminary ruling kicking her off the November ballot. I am angry, and you know, a lot of the voters I talk to, they're very angry as well. And right here in the state of Illinois, that vote is being denied to the voters of the 43rd Senate District. In what way? By a frivolous challenge. Bolingbrook accountant and mom of three, Cedra Crenshaw, submitted hundreds more signatures on her nominating petitions than required, but she's now fighting in court because Will County officials knocked her off the ballot. They say she should have used slightly different wording in one sentence of her filing. Now, Democratic incumbent State Senator A.J. Wilhelmy told me tonight in Lockport that the rules are the rules. This is a pretty minor technicality, though. I mean, she had enough signatures. It's just the phrasing in one part of the petition. I mean, the statute's pretty clear on, on what you need to do. So you follow the statute, and there are no issues. And if is it a dirty trick to try to knock her off the ballot? I, I don't believe that any of the challenges, and there are many going on in the state of Illinois right now, I don't believe they're dirty tricks. Well, Senator Wilhelm is right that a lot of challenges are underway right now. That's the season here. Candidates all across the state are trying to kick their opponents off of ballots. We have lost a lot of real jobs, but hey, this is a growth industry. It's pumping big bucks into the pockets of nitpicking lawyers for both Democrats and Republicans. And make no mistake, the Republicans are victim here, but Republican Party lawyers have knocked off Democratic candidates using technicalities just as ridiculous as this one. And there's one last I irony. Tea Partier Cedra Crenshaw is playing the game, too. She actually moved to kick off the ballot a third candidate, ultra-conservative Christopher Peterson. Unlike Crenshaw, though, Peterson filed no signatures. <laughs> he needed to file a thousand. He didn't file anybody's own. Well, that one makes a little bit more sense. Not right. quite as a technicality as that, but this is the game, isn't it? I mean, this is part of the political process here in Illinois and perhaps elsewhere historically. It is. And Governor Quinn, uh, you know, did a, an amendatory veto yesterday that actually changed some election law, so you don't have to go into the. You can now vote in a primary without having to, to declare whether you're a Democrat or Republican. He has talked for years about changing these rules, improving ballot access and eliminating these ridiculous nitpicking technicalities. Frustrating, it seems like, but it keeps the job interesting, doesn't it? My gosh, it does. It. it keeps those lawyers rich. <laughs> yes, it does. Thank you, Mike Flannery. Appreciate it.